Christ. Be in the name of the Lord. Brother and sister, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As this time I applies wherever you're watching or listening to this clip. Once again, I bring forth the word of knowledge to you from the book of Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 3. Scripture say, For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground and sow not among tongues. I pray for you and I pray with you. In whichever way or form or shape you have been sowing on the fallow ground and among the tongue, the hands of the Almighty God lift you up this hour in Jesus' name. Bible declare that it is God that gave the seed to the sower and the bread to the eater. Because there are people that are dependent on that seed in your hand, you will not sow on the fallow ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Because there are people who are dependent, who are waiting on your harvest and your fruit today, the seed that God has given unto you this year, brother and sister, you are hearing me, they will not die, they will not fall upon the fallow ground in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that the Lord will cause that ground to be pliable, that when you sow that seed, that seed will germinate. Not only will it germinate, it will spring forth and bring good fruit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I have the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to be transferred into your life. For God say, I will bless Abraham, and out of Abraham, the nations of the world shall be blessed. That is the Abrahamic covenant. I introduce and establish you to that covenant. Because many people are dependent upon you, you will be blessed. Ah, because of your household, your neighborhood, your city, your nation, and the world at large, you will be blessed. The neighbors of your hand will be blessed. God will bless you and multiply you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will increase you in all sizes, in all fronts, that mankind will see you and say, yeah, they want to serve your God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever you lay your hand on in year 2024, brother, listen, listen to me, prophetically and declare, you shall be blessed. If the God will multiply your seed, he will multiply your habit, he will cause you to be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every agenda and the attempts of the enemy that have been programmed against your harvest, your seed, and your fruit, the Lord frustrated them, the Lord rebuilt them, the Father, the Holy Ghost consumed them. Whoever that wants to stand against the seed in your hand, or your harvest, or your fruit, the Lord will rebuke them. He said in Psalm 105, verse 14, that I will rebuild the opposition for your sake. Say, touch no man, not tell one. Any man or woman, or any spiritual man or woman, or spiritual being that want to hinder or frustrate your sake, See your harvest and your brethren. The Lord rebuke them. In the name of Jesus, I pray that heaven will open upon your seed a downpour, showers of blessing. Let it fall upon your seed. Let it fall upon your patch ground, your dry ground, your well done. Let rain from heaven fall upon them. That this year, mankind will bless God through you. Mankind will bless God in you. And in all that you will do for mankind, in the name of Jesus. Until I come your way, give me that Hold on to faith in God. It is your year of divine turning point, and so shall it be. God bless you.